When you want to describe something to your colleague, or trying to make your student understand something using a diagram, collaborative whiteboard is the best way to do so. It works with much less bandwidth than a screen sharing software. Also allows multiple users to interact at a time. We are going to develop a collaborative whiteboard today, using React and Node.js. So let's start. I have created a project folder here. Inside the folder, I have two subfolders. One is server, and another one is UI. We shall keep the React app inside the UI folder, and the Node.js app inside server. Let's first create a React app. So, let's go inside UI folder, CD UI. Then npx, create React app, whiteboard-collab. Let me first forward the project creation. As you can see now, project is created already. Let's go inside the project folder. and run npm start. And you can get to see the preliminary React project in your browser. Now, let's go back to VS Code once again for our coding. Inside the source folder, I shall create a directory called components. We shall create two different React components here. First one is container component and second one is board component. For these two components, I have created two separate folder. Now, inside container component let's create a JSX file, container.jsx, and for styling style.css. Similarly, for board component also, we shall create board.jsx and style.css. Now let's start coding from container.jsx file. We shall create class components here. So let's create a class, container, which will extend react.component. Now, let's import React at the top. I shall create a constructor here. Let's call super from inside constructor. And then we shall write the render function. Inside render function, I shall create a div with CSS class, container. Okay, in React I have to write class name instead of class. And then, inside container div, there will be one div, for color picker container. Inside color picker container, I shall keep input type equals to color. Below the color picker container, I shall keep the board container. Inside board container, let's keep the board. Now, we have to define the board, in board.jsx, we shall create another class component for board. Class board, extends react.component. Let's import react again. Inside the class, let's define a constructor here. And inside the render function, just for testing, return a sample text, hello, inside h1 tag. Okay, I forgot to call super from constructor, so let's add that. And then, we have to import the board component, in container component, right? So, import board. From dot dot slash, board. Slash board. Now, we have to export the classes. So at the below of the container class, export default, container. Similarly, board component also, export default board. Okay, now let's go to app.js and remove all default HTML from inside render function. And then, just add container. You can notice, the container is imported automatically at the top, right? Okay, now let's save it. Okay, we are getting some errors in board component. And, yes I misspelled the constructor. Let's correct it. And we are good now. If I now go to the browser, you will get to see the hello header and the color picker. Now we shall add few styles and write the render function of board component. Let's import style.css in container.jsx. Now, let's add few lines of styling.
Okay, I think, these should be good for container component. Now, we shall define the render function of board component. Just remove the h1 tag, and add a canvas here. Let's provide ID and class of the canvas, as board. Now let's write couple of lines CSS, for board class. We have to include the style.css in board component also. Let's check in the browser. Well, everything becomes white here. Let's just go back, to our container component styling and add background black, for container class. Yes, now we have got our basic design ready. Now, we have to write code to draw on this canvas using mouse, right? But, I am not going to write that part of coding myself, because drawing on a canvas coding, is not the main purpose of this video. So, just search in Google, draw on canvas using mouse, and you will get to see a lot of code examples. If you need a separate video on, how drawing on a canvas works, just let me know in comment section. You can pick any of these code examples. Let me take, this code snippet. Now, in the board class, let's write a function draw on canvas. And inside that, just paste the copied code. Let's fix the indentation. I need to change the ID here, to board. Because our canvas ID is board. Correct? Now, I have to invoke this function. So, let's define a lifecycle hook method of React, component did mount. Component did mount is equivalent to window.onload, in conventional JavaScript. Just call, this.draw on canvas, from inside component did mount. Let's save it. And check in browser. Okay, we have got some error. And that is because, we don't have any element, with ID sketch. You have to be prepared, for some surprises, when you will steal other person's code. Let's fix this now. I shall define a wrapper div, around the canvas, in render function, with class and ID sketch. Now, I have to write, couple of lines CSS for class sketch. Okay, now we have an element with ID sketch. Let's test again. And, it is working perfectly fine now. Let's go back to coding. I shall define a class variable here, with name timeout. Now inside the draw on canvas function, you can see a method on paint. Before this method, we shall define a variable root equals to this. Now, inside the on paint method let's write set timeout function. And, inside set timeout let's get the base64 encoded image data from canvas. Now, the canvas is defined at the top. Right? The base64 image data variable, will contain canvas images base64 encoded string. Now the question, you may ask why should we use the set timeout? So, the answer is, I don't want to send image data, to all other users, for each point draw. Rather I want the user, to complete a drawing segment let's say a line, and then send the full line data to other users. This will help, to reduce bandwidth usages significantly. So, set timeout will help us, to send image data, only when user will pause for a second. And that naturally happen, when a specific segment drawing is completed. Right? And, we had to define the root variable, because from inside the set timeout function, this keyword will point to the inner function, not the board class. And, finally we need to add one more line, if root.timeout, not equals to undefined. Then just clear timeout. So, this part of code will ensure, to execute a single timeout function, not the earlier ones also. I understand, this is a bit complex. If you have any problem with this part of code, please let me know in comment section. We are done with React code for now. We shall come back later again. Now, let's open the server folder, in command prompt. We need to install two node libraries using npm. First one is express. And socket IO.
both library are installed. Now, let's create a new file, inside server folder, with name server.js. We shall write our node.js code, in this file. Let's first import all required libraries. Now, I shall create a HTTP server. This server will run, in 5000 port. Just added a log, to understand that server is running. Now I shall create, a WebSocket server. So, whenever a user will be connected with the WebSocket server, user online, message will be shown in console. And finally, if server receives any event, with name, canvas data, the message will be broadcasted to all other connected users. Okay, so that's it, about our Node.js code. Now, I shall start the server. Just run from console, node, then server.js. And, you can see the console message, started on 5000. Now, we shall go back to our React console. Just stop the existing React server. And, then we have to install Socket.io client. Just run, npm install, socket.io, dash client. And, Socket.io client, will be installed. Now again start the React server, using npm start and React application will be started again. Let's go back to VS Code. Now, we need to import the library, from Socket.io client, in board.jsx file. Import IO from Socket.io, dash client. Okay, let's define a class variable, Socket, equals to IO.connect, and, pass the URL, HTTP localhost, colon 5000. Our server is running at 5000 port. Right? Now, let's go to, on paint function, and, inside timeout method, just write root.socket.emit. And pass arguments, canvas data. And then, the base64 encoded image string. This particular line, will emit the base64 encoded image string to server. Now, the canvas data event, has to be same as server's receiving event name. When server will receive an event, with name canvas data, server will broadcast another event with same name, to all other connected users. Right? So, we have to write code, in board.jsx file, to receive the server emitted event. Let's go to board classes constructor. And, write code to receive the event. So, as per the code, when canvas data event will be received, a new image will be drawn into canvas. Now, the image will be constructed using the data, which is received from server. Right? So, data is basically, the base64 encoded image string, which was emitted from another user's drawing. That drawing will now be displayed in all other users' canvas. Let's test it now. Now, I have opened the application from two different browsers, which is like, two different users. Right? You can see, all my activities, in one browser, is reflecting to another browser, automatically. But, all are blue color right now. We need to add few codes, to add color change, or clear canvas functionalities. But, I can see the video is already becomes very long. So, I am stopping here today. I shall create another video, on few other functionalities. Guys please subscribe to my channel. Also like, comment and share the video with your friends. Bye for now.